Hi, Gemini. This is Patricia 1111, and welcome to my platform. I'm all happy that you're here. I want to thank all of you for the love and support that you have been giving me, and as well for all the donations to keep my platform alive. Thank you so, so much for that. Um, and um, on my uh, YouTube page, on the you know, the, the first page on the top right hand corner, you will see the donation button. And also, um, uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook or you want to follow me on Instagram, everything's there. Don't forget to hit the, uh, the bell and subscribe. Okay. And uh, so I'm happy that you're all here and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from June 24th to the 30th of June. I hope that you had a great birthday month. Uh, I hope that you got all the blessings that came in for you because I blessed you for with all birthday with all your birthday wishes. Each and one of you, I blessed you with so uh, with so much love and light. And uh, so now here we are. So now um, you know all of you. I have my singing bowl, and uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, I use this because. Um, what I do with the singing bowl is that I clear my energy in my space and I do the same thing for you where you are. And if you, there's anything heavy or you're just feeling stressed or you can't seem to focus, take a moment. And when I'm ringing it, take a deep breath in and then take a, a deep breath out. Okay, so let's start with count number one. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And one more time. Oh, they're saying one more time. Here we go. That's beautiful. All righty. So I have uh, four decks in front of me, and every week I'm going to uh, change them, okay? So they're not always going to be the same. So um, how it works is that you could choose by deck or by crystal. So the first deck is Archangel Michael, and it's with the Pyramid. Then I got Romance Angels, deck number two, with the Selenite Tower. Deck number three is Ask Angels, with Obsidian. And deck number four is the Rose Quartz, with the Lover's Oracle. Now, you could choose again, like I said, by deck, or you could choose by crystal it's up to you if you don't want to choose anything and you just want to go with your intuition then go right ahead you'll know if it means anything for you because it will resonate with you i'm going to put them on the side and at the end of the reading we're going to look at them together also i did take also extra cards as well for the end of the reading maybe i should well maybe i should use them now okay maybe i should give it to you. oh yeah i'm going to give you these ones now and the, the rest of them uh, at the end of the reading, okay? So I took out three cards for you. The three cards I took out for you are Crystal Angels. These are the crystals that you will need for the, the week of uh, June 24th to the 30th, or if you wanna also use them in July, it's up to you. So the first one you got is Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye, I just saw 333. <laughs> That's so cool. And it says self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. Okay, this is the tiger's eye. The next card you got is Jade. Jade. Okay. And it says wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. Jade. And the next card you got is Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz. And it's clearing negativity. Release negativity from within or around you. And so it is. So these are the three of ones, three crystals that if you want to use them, they're here for you. I also took out a um, a card from the soul's journey, okay? And it's gratitude. Look at this, gratitude. And it says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunity, opportunities that it presents. So this is your affirmation. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And so it is. That's beautiful. And your last card is the Age of Light. The Age of Light. Okay. And it is, you're being, you've been training for this for lifetimes. 
I feel, uh, really feel here that a lot of you here in this card as well, that your uh, crown chakra, your third eye, and your throat chakra have been healed. And look at this. You are a pillar of light, and you are a light worker for others. For those of you that don't even know that, but you gems really rock, okay? So these are your cards right now. Now we're going to go into the reading, okay? I have uh, I already pre-shuffled the cards, but I'm just going to shuffle them a bit more for you. Now, if this reading does not resonate, always look at your rising, your moon, and your Venus. I have to repeat these things because there's a lot of new people on my channel. And so if they don't know how, that, uh, I also do other, um, um, you know, we do, we're do. we not just one one sign, we're 12 signs, okay? Now, if you have Gemini in any uh, in any of your planets, this reading is for you. I just saw 5555, five, 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 555. Okay, so what are the messages for Gemini's? Now, uh, Mercury, uh, I don't know if some of you gems already have been experiencing uh, problems with your cell phone or your electronics. I know I have, <laughs> you know, um, since like two weeks now. Uh, so, uh, because Mercury is getting ready to go in retrograde uh, July 7th. Right now, we have five planets are retrograde. Okay, Neptune just went retrograde June 21st, right at the cusp between Cancer and Gemini. And uh, that's going to be in retrograde till November 27th. And that means that anybody that comes in that's new uh, in your life or any opportunities that come towards you, you need to be careful, okay? It doesn't mean that everybody that comes in new or every opportunity, you have to trust your intuition on that. Mercury is going retrograde from July 7th to August 1st. But of course, there's always a week or two pertaining to, for, you know, for it because... Uh, until it gets to like going forward there's also the shadow side we have the south node in in capricorn that is in retrograde the north node in cancer that's in, in retrograde jupiter is in retrograde in sagittarius and saturn is in retrograde plus the eclipses are coming in july so there's gonna be a lot of activity going on okay so i'm just uh, letting you know that maybe what happens when that happens is that there's um when Oops, there we go. When a situation happens like that, it means that uh, when, when there's all these planets going retrograde and everything is happening, it only, it, it's because um, there's going to be a lot of beginnings and endings that are going to be taking place, okay? So let's go into your reading. Here, I noticed that some of you are overanalyzing or overthinking something. You're trying to figure out something, but uh, maybe it has to do for some of you with money. How to make more money, okay? What's going on here? Why is it that you're not manifesting in the way that you like to manifest? I feel that, um, you know, some of you um, have a lot of anxiety and fears at this moment. You, you're you not sure what's going on. Uh, you're feeling a bit like out of place for some of you. So... Um, you will need a clear quartz as well if you need to meditate. Uh, I feel that some of you need to meditate. Now, if you don't like meditating to music, you could also meditate in nature as well, okay? Or just find some time alone for yourself, Gemini. Because right now we're in the water season. Oh, there's a card that went flying. A lot of you feel uh, stuck, okay? A lot of you feel stuck. Okay, now you feel stuck. There's... Uh, uh, this I, I feel for some of you, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? This could also be because Saturn is retrograde right now, okay? Or Jupiter being retrograde. Something to do with money that's not coming in in the way that you want. I feel for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, you need to work on your root chakra. Your root chakra needs to be worked on, okay? Uh, some healing needs to take place here because I feel there's a kind of stability on... on it's like you're not completely stable with money for some of you, not all of you, but there's something to do with money. I feel that you are doing a lot of research. You're looking into um, find, trying to find a solution. Maybe this, this is something creative that you need to do, okay? And uh, at this moment, because you're overanalyzing this issue, whatever it is this, that's bringing you fears and anxiety and you're not sleeping at night and you feel like you're tied down and you feel like you can't like move or or you feel like you can't get out of a situation you're not manifesting in the way that you should be okay so there is some kind of um of a delay that's uh, taking place here for you now let's see what else is going on here let 
what is going on here for my beautiful gems? I feel that uh, all these retrogrades that are taking place are, are uh, for some of you, it's like, uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the cards keep flying. Let me take it. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. I see number uh, 111 here, okay? Fives are here too. There's some fives here. Yeah, there's one, two, three fives. The sun is shining. Some of you are dealing with a Leo character. Maybe it's a Leo that you're having a hard time with. Uh, or I feel that in the month of July, uh, July and August of 2019, uh, things will start blossoming again. Maybe this Mercury retrograde is going to be like communication breakdown for you and something is going to slow you down. Okay. Uh, they're asking you to rest. You need to rest. Is that's what they're uh, saying to you, okay? And some of you need to meditate because I feel that you have energies that are trying to work around you or on you, and uh, you're multitasking. You're doing a lot at the same time, and it seems like every door that you go to now, not every door, but some of the doors that you go to are closed, is what they're telling me, okay? Now, what else is there going on here? I also see yellow butterflies for you. And um, when I also got into your energy, they showed me that there's a some kind of uh, shift that happened. And monarch, monarch butterflies also appeared. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius here. I feel that you're off balance when it comes to your manifesting at this moment. Now, this is not for all of you, okay? And that's why I'm doing more than one reading. Okay, let's see what they sh these cards show me, what they're telling me here. Okay. Some of you are just waiting. You're just waiting. You're not passing through those gates yet. You're waiting. There's something that you're not ready. There's something that you feel tied down to. Some of you are showing me that this is a happy family here. This connection. There's a beautiful fa family life for some of you. Um, maybe uh, the stability in the family for those of you that are together. Maybe the, 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 the issues you're having to do with has to do with money. That's not coming in in the way that you want. Okay. Um, your sacral chakra is also being worked on is what they're showing me. But the connection for some of you that are uh, awakening to your spiritual gifts, you're not connecting in the way that you want to with the divine, okay? Because it shows me here, okay? Uh, you're not connecting. I feel that right now you're still like, uh, you need to be uh, healed is what I'm picking up. And what I'm also picking up very strong is that not only that you need to be healed, you need to rest. You need to meditate. You need to go within to find your answers. Your answers are not in books or outside of you, okay? This is what they're telling me. You're trying to manifest, okay, through your creative, maybe something creative that you're working on. It's not coming in in the way that you want because the pos because there's, you're overanalyzing the situation too much. You need to step back. You need to let go of the outcome, is what they're telling me, uh, and uh, just let it go, okay? For whatever the, the situation is, because the sun is shining. For those of you, if this has to do with a family, there's beautiful changes that are going to be taking place here, okay? Or you're dealing with, or there is someone that's coming in here in the month of July or August of 2019, but you're still waiting, now, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for uh, for abundance to come in. There's gonna, there is gonna be caring connections around you. There is gonna be caring connections around you, and you're gonna start feeling that. I'm gonna ask uh, a few questions here. I just want to know. Well, some of you are feeling a lot of people around you that are hostile around you. Maybe the energy of people being angry, or um, you know, some people are just like. Um, not just angry, but you need to stand up for yourself, okay, uh, Gemini? And you need to speak your truth is what they're telling me here, okay? Maybe in this type of energy, you're dealing with someone that's angry, maybe that's mad, okay? Um, these are drama. You need to get away. You need to find time for yourself, okay? This is what they're telling me. Maybe you're surrounded with too much drama from other people. 
why is um, the first chakra, the root chakra reversed? Okay, and why is the anxiety here? Yeah, some of you are attached to someone or something here. Some of you are attached to something and someone, and you you have a lot of anxieties about this person, and uh, masks are going to start falling off. You're going to start seeing the truth in people. You're going to start seeing the truth and cutting people out, okay? So this is what they're showing me. And also, a lot of you are going to be going on a journey, on a spiritual journey. Maybe you're going to be traveling. You're going to take just like your whatever things that you need and off you go, okay? And off you go. And spirit is uh, guiding you, okay? Spirit is guiding you because spirit wants to connect with you, Gemini. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know that you know I'm talking to you, okay, Gem? Someone out there is trying to so much to communicate with spirit, okay? And, um, <clears throat> and trying to manifest, you're trying to manifest, but because you have a lot of worries and because you worry so much and you're always thinking, let's say if you have a negative mindset, what happens is that the universe understands that, let's say, oh, I'm lacking this or you're, let's say anything that's negative, it will send you more of that. So you need to release that, talk positive, positively and also act on a vibrate higher and because i do believe that spirit wants to con contact you but you need to rest you need to meditate you need to go within okay and i'm going to ask a bit more questions here of why uh, you're feeling all tied up why are they feeling all tied up this is a spiritual journey that you're going through for some of you maybe um you want to, there's more that you want, you want to go through this journey. There's a new journey that's taking place for you. I see that. There are beautiful changes coming for you because I do see a lot of 555 five, five on the ground. I also see 111 if these are the numbers that you've been seeing. If this has to do with a relationship that maybe you have to let go of. There we go, another card code. I don't know, man. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is it. This is you. Okay, this is why you're feeling tied up or stuck. Okay, there's a journey that you have to go through. There is a journey. The lights, the light, the light, your starseed family, the divine is guiding, <clears throat> is guiding you. You are right here in the middle. You don't know which side to go. You don't know if you have to go right or left. They're saying to me, either way, each, uh, they're saying to me, it doesn't matter which way you go, it's the right way. So there's no wrong way or wrong way, uh, right or wrong. It's either or. You just have to go, okay? So this is uh, was part of your, uh, now I just want to ask one more question here before I go to the next reading. What is it that they're waiting for? What is it that they're waiting for? Oh, okay. You have to change your strategy. That's what simple it is. You need to change your strategy. You need to take some time off, time alone, meditate, be by yourself. If you can't do it with music, go in nature, Take a, a light vacation somewhere. Change your strategy because there's something that you need to change. So now let's go to the second reading. Like, please let me know in the comments if it resonates with you. That's why I do three readings because I want to see if I can reach <clears throat> all the Geminis out there. So now uh, this, this card reading, I did it with uh, the Energy Oracle cards. These are the Angel cards. Angel Tarot cards from... Uh, I don't know who. I uh, I can't remember their name, but it's they look like this. So I'm sure some of you will write it down on the comments. And see, let's see what's going on. I already pre-shuffled the cards. For you and let's go into the second reading. This is for my beautiful gems. What are the messages? Oops, too many cards from okay. What are the messages for gems? Okay. Let 
They're saying, do what you love. And they want you to stand up for what's right and what you believe in. Okay. Wow. Nice. It's a, they're saying it's a, it's, a, it's a time of great personal growth in your career and or, 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 or artistic endeavors. If for those of you that are doing anything, uh, anything uh, artistic, I really believe that you need to, uh, to, uh, some healing to be done on on the um, I, on the on your chakras so maybe if you could listen to steve noble he's on youtube and he's an amazing healer and an amazing uh like he's amazing i don't know what to say he's just simply amazing so steve noble okay and um a lot of you uh there's um you're showing people how to work maybe you're your your own boss and you have employees um, you're showing me growth, uh, promotion, or some kind of money that's coming in towards you. And have confidence and claim your personal power back, okay, Gemini? Claim your personal power because I feel like you've given, you, given your power away too, man, too much, too many times here. They're going, you're going to be getting an epiphany. So epiphanies are like aha moments. Epiphany, you're going <clears> to <throat> have an epiphany moment, okay, uh, for some of you. Uh, there's also uh, being a light to others, joy through spiritual growth as well, and answers that come from meditation. A lot of you are a high priest or a high priestess, okay? Please understand and follow your intuition. You are very acknowledgeable, uh, gems. You are old, old souls. You've been here many, many times. Just like this card said here, you've been training for this for lifetimes, Okay? It's not the first time you're here. It's not the first time probably you hear me. <laughs> I just saw 2202. Two. <laughs> okay. Um, so some of you are high priest or high priestess here. It shows me here that um, powerful psych uh, phys uh, psychic information will be coming through through your visions, through meditation. You need to connect to your higher self. This is what they want. They want you to connect to your higher self and to the divine. And reflection and meditation that provides a lot of information and be at peace. So there's a, something here of a theme of you, all of you trying to meditate. Maybe some of you have a hard time staying focused. I don't know if that's the case, but it's important that you start meditating. Because there's information and epiphanies that will be coming to you, okay? Uh, they're telling you it's time to make a decision. Okay, now it's time to make a decision like that and be clear in what you want, okay? And take action is what they're saying. Here we go. And some of you need to detox, okay? Also, some of you are dealing with a um, fire energy here. So this is... Uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, very strong here. This could be a woman, a man, it doesn't matter. A very passionate, charming. They're brilliant and they're very independent people. You can do anything right now. This could be also your energy. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Because there's going to be a lot of solutions around you. Okay, A lot of solutions are taking place. A lot of you are going to start standing up for yourself. You're going to start taking your personal power back. Okay, Gems? It's very important that you do this. Because it's a very beautiful time at this moment to be here on this earth plane, okay? Because there's a lot of solutions that are around you. Beautiful changes are coming. To, uh, success that comes from objective thinking and self-control and having the patience. And some of you need to forgive. And uh, you need a, some kind of healing energy that's coming towards you because it's a situation that has ended, okay? And you are fi finally free, okay? This is like the Ten of Michael. A new beginning is going to take place. Um, they want you to... New opportunities that will come in for you will are, are for your happiness, and they want you to follow that and put the past behind you. You also got the Nine of Pentacles. This shows me the Nine of Pentacles, that your dreams are being fulfilled. A lot of hard work leads to a great success and a love for beautiful things in life. A lot of you have been going through a spiritual journey. You have the rainbow here. Spiritually, you are connected within yourself for some of you. There's a rainbow. Not You're not far from that rainbow, okay? The rainbow is around you. Your ships are, have already came in or they're coming in for some of you. Some of you, you already experienced this. Others of you, this is coming for you. Your ships have come. Okay, prosperity comes from wise buying. This could be for love. This could be for business or more money or having your personal business. Okay, your personal business, what I mean is, is like your own company. Okay, um, 
take the time. To, they want you to go to the next step. You're ready, they're saying. And optimistic plans that uh, turn out expected. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces here as well. This is someone that's very kind, very understanding, giving, and psychic. This could be also you. Or Gemini, you know someone that is a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces here that's a very psychic person. This could be that... Um, for some of you, this is a relationship that's taking place for you. Okay, it's a beginning of a relationship. For others of you, it's a, a it's a beginning of a business that's growing as well. Very stable, I see here. They want you to follow your heart. A love for home and family and trustworthy psychic information. So if you're dealing with a psychic now, you're talking to a psychic or you're getting a reading from a psychic, that means that uh, their, 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 very, uh, their information that they're giving you okay, are very accurate here. This could also mean that you are a psychic, okay, and I'm sure a lot of you gems don't know this, because I have, like, some Geminis that, you know, sometimes they talk to me, and they, like, you know, and they're being, like, very psychic, and I say, hey, you know, you're a psychic, and they go, really? I go, yeah, you're a psychic. <laughs> so, just remember that. You got the nine, so now you have two nines on the ground, so there's I'll, there, not three nines, so it's nine, nine, nine. So there's an ending, then you have a 10, which is new beginnings taking place, and the threes are very important here, three, three, three. And you also have 77. 77 is very strong here, okay? And uh, you're saying your worry is unnecessary. You need to let go of your worry. And focus on the thoughts. They want you to focus on your, on, on, uh, focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. So if you want something to work out great, focus on the desire of it, what you want. If you want to be successful or you want to have the best love life, focus on that, have the intention and let it go. Okay? And release feelings of uh, guilt, regret, hurt, sadness, and to your angels or to your higher self and to the divine. Some of you are dealing with an Aries here. An Aries. This also talks about stability in a business, meaning that you have what it takes to succeed. You have the knowledge, you have the, the wisdom, okay? And stability and efficiency, efficiency and taking charge of a situation. Ambitious plans are coming. I feel a lot of like stability here. Underneath the card, I saw number 11. This is some of you are dealing with a Leo. If that's not the case that you're dealing with a Leo, Okay, you have the strength to go through this. You have number 11 on the ground. And uh, a lot of self-forgiveness, uh, uh, self-forgiveness, forgiveness also for others. And self-confidence, you got what it takes to succeed, Gemini. Okay, I see also here for love and also finances, there is someone coming in to give you a promotion um, or uh if it's a, a new project that's coming in for you and uh, anything that you touch they're saying it turns to gold again they keep saying that to me and I know that I said that in the June reading for all of you but that's what they're telling me so that has to be the truth okay some of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn if that's not the case there is unconditional love that's coming towards you you've got the ace of cups this talks about over uh, overwhelming emotions uh, beginning of relationship, being at peace, two people in love, a positive and a new emotional experience that's taking place for you, fulfilling romantic relationships and deep and lasting spiritual insights. You also got the four aerial, which talks about stability. Now you have one, two, let me see here. One, two, I did see another four on the ground before. One, two, no, three. 444 talks about stability. I do feel you're stable, but I feel that you have fears of not having enough money and that you have to let go of. The more you give, the more you will receive. Okay, some of you are being resistant to change as well, to open up the heart chakra of yours. And some of you need to budget yourself is what they're saying. Because again, celebrations are taking place for you. A lot of celebrations here with family and friends, announcements of weddings, announcements of um, of birth, announcements of graduations are taking place and it's a time to celebrate and a community of good friends. A lot of people love you, Gems, okay? And so I see here happiness coming for you in love. I see it also in, uh, not only in love, but I also see it in, in your finances as well, okay? So this was your second reading. Now let's go to your third reading. 
What are the messages for you? So now these cards here are called the Thelma Tarot. And I use them in only your video. And I'm using them again in your video. Um, that's what the, my spirit guides tell me. They go, no, you have to use these ones. I go, okay. <laughs> so I go, I follow through. So let me know if, it, if this resonates with you. Please write me comments, terms. I really like your vibe in your in your uh, when you write your comments down. And I cannot use the songs because um, you know YouTube is really strict with that. Um, and you know, so uh, I can't give you songs any any longer for the time being until they calm down. Okay. Or someone must be reporting me. I don't know if they're checking up on me. I have no idea. So let's see what's going on here for you. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from June 23rd to the 30th. What are the messages for my beautiful gems? Whether you're a man, you're a woman, you're a teenager, or like 18, 19 that's watching me, or a senior, whatever age, whoever you are, wherever you come from, I just want to tell you that I love you all very much. And I love all the love and support that you have been giving me. So, now, let's cut the cards in three. And let's go for your reading. What are the messages for my Geminis? Oh, boy. Wow, look at this. Your guys are on fire. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, the first two cards that came out of the reading. Wow, this is beautiful. I feel the energy, the truth, the crown. Your crown is back on, okay, whether you're a man or a woman. Seeing the truth and everything. The divine is going to give you the truth. You're going to see everything very clearly with your third eye as well. You're going to notice um, emotions from people right, right away, like a gift that maybe that was there from the beginning, but is going to be greatly open now. You're going to cut off people that are not for your highest good. New ideas are coming in. Prompt, like a lot of ideas for business, for anything. It's like like this. And you got the Ace of Wands. Some of you, your Kundalini is going to go whoop, <laughs> like that. And for others of you, there's a lot of passion, reunited passion. You're passionate about your ideas. You're passionate about the communication that's taking place. Some of you are dealing with someone like you, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or you're dealing with a uh, um, you're dealing with a um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Let's see what's happening here for you. Wow, beautiful! I'm very happy to see this. It's rare I get to see like two. Number 11 is on the ground. So someone here with number 11 is very strong here. Let's see here. Some of you are dealing with someone that is a uh, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Or this could be also you and your energy. Like you are on fire. Like you have reinvented yourself. You're seeing things clear. You're loving yourself. You're very passionate. You're very creative in everything that you do. If this is not you, this is someone else that's appearing here. You got the four of wands. The eleven eleven is here. Some of you are going to be speaking to marriage to some to someone. There's some kind of stability, a completion in the home. Um, I, this is my marriage card as well. Two people coming in together, wanting the same thing. Um, some of you will get proposed to, or there's someone. There's an announcement somewhere in June here. Please let me know in the comments. Okay. Now, let's see here. You're looking into the future. Wow. Ooh, okay. A lot of beautiful changes are taking place for you, Gemini. Oh my God. I don't know what this reading is for, but I'm so excited to see this. I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm back, Gemini. Okay, so I was saying, wow, you have an amazing reading. I don't know who I'm reading to, but beautiful things are coming. You probably, some of you already have been going through this or you will be going through this, okay? You're looking into the long term. You're looking into long term. Uh, you're looking to where you want to go. Uh, some of you are waiting for someone to come in from afar. Um, but there is beautiful things happening here. There is a decision that will have to be made. And it's an ending of a stressful situation. Okay, because you got oh, the Ten of Wands. 
Okay, some of you are dealing. Let me see what else is going on here. Oh, your cards are going all over the place today. What's going on, guys? Yeah, it's like, okay, cards are flying. Okay, let me take the cards. Here we go. Maybe you saw Sandy behind me. Okay, there's a, you got two tens. Okay, and both of the tens were like this. So, an ending of something that was very difficult for you. An ending that was very difficult for you. Okay, uh, uh, something that was on your shoulders. Carrying, you were carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders. Something that really hurt you. This is an ending of it. New beginnings are going to be taking place. Some of you are dealing with someone that is a Virgo, Capricorn, or Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius. I did say Sagittarius, but I guess that means for someone out there. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and Sagittarius here. Um, this could be someone that is unstable. Um, I feel that this has to do with, for some of you, if this person is unstable, maybe they don't have a lot of money. They're not coming in in the way that you want them to come in. Maybe they can't help you in the way that you can. This has to do with the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel coming on your side. So the Wheel of Fortune is here. There's second chances taking place for you, for some of you. This is luck on your side, but there's something that is right now slowing down when it comes to some type of money situation here for some of you, okay? Not all of you, but again, second chances, as I can see here, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. There's a transformation that you're going to be going through for some of you, okay? Uh, you got the four of wands followed by the three of wands followed by the star card, there's a blessing and a healing that's taking place for you. Some of you are dealing with Aquarius. Some of you, you've been um, doing your work. You've been help, you've been s taking care of yourself first, of course, self love. And for for some of you, you're connecting already with your star seed family, and there's something long term that's coming towards you. This could be a relationship that's long term. Okay, the tower is coming in. Yes, the tower is a beautiful card. Do not be scared of the tower. The tower just means that the divine is coming in to change your life. You needed this change. You've been wanting this change. You've been wanting this because you got the Ace of Cups. For, for you to get the Ace of uh, Swords and the Ace of um, Wands here. Okay, let me just take this for you to show you. Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is here for you. Luck on your side. Things that haven't worked out in the past will work out for you. Money, relationships, contacts, whatever it is that, that that's long-term, long-term is coming in for you. Okay, there's a blessing that's taking place also as well. A blessing and a dream coming true. Okay, but for all of this to come in with this card here, Okay, for all of this to come in, you see, the Ace of Swords, Wands, and the Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower has to come in to bring you the change. And you're ready for it. That's what they're saying. You have to make a decision. You will be making a decision. This is what they're showing me. There's a decision that has to be made with your heart as well and logically. You've been seeing this already, so you know what you have to do. A lot of you are going through a transformation here, a major transformation where you're uh, you're leaving a place of darkness or some of you have been going through the dark night of the soul and you are coming back up into the divine. Some of you are going to start reaching the divine. It's beautiful. Are you dealing with a Scorpio? I see a lot of celebration here. A lot of celebration taking place for you. Announcements, celebration, celebration. I'm going to ask uh, why this Queen of Pentacles is reversed. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? This could be a king or a queen. It doesn't matter. Someone that... Okay, what does that mean? Okay. I feel for some of you are waiting for something to come in for you. Like a, a promotion or some money that's supposed to be coming in for you. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could also be because Saturn is uh, in retrograde. Um, and Jupiter being in, in retrograde as well. It's like a lot of things will be delayed now. Okay? And it's uh, something that we have to work with. Okay? Because the, it's the planets are all in retrograde. But there is someone coming in. They're very kindred soul. This could be a someone coming in to help you financially. 
uh, as well, okay? Uh, or uh, this has, could be with a promotion, a new job, a new opportunity, or this is a person that you're waiting for in love, okay? They're kind of slow moving, but um, they're very, when they come in, they're very loyal and faithful is what I hear, okay? So some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. There's also where I'm picking up very strong for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, there is a third party. There's another person involved. Doesn't mean that it's a third party situation. Doesn't mean, okay, the person's cheating on you. I'm not saying that. But there is some type of third party going on, or if this has to do with work or with something with love, okay? So now let's go into your Oracle cards here, Gemini. It's very exciting, very beautiful reading for this week. Please let me know in the comments. Maybe this already is happening for you. And for others of you, you will be receiving your blessings. Now, for those of you that chose deck number one, Archangel Michael with the pyramid. This is your messages. They're saying your children are watched over by angels. Your children are being watched over by angels. And it says, your prayer is, Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn. Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good person uh, or a good parent. Sorry, that's what I meant. A good parent and, and role model for my own and other people's children. And so it is. Next one is believe and trust. Believe and trust. And your message is, before going to sleep tonight, say, okay, guys, ready? And if you want to write this down, or uh, I guess you're going to have to go back and get it if you want. So it says, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. And so it is. And last but not least, they're saying that you're on the right path. And that's what counts, right? And your prayer is, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make beautiful life changes. And so it is. Good luck for those of you that chose pack number one. Deck number two, uh, Romance Angels with the Selenite Tower. You got four cards. I didn't even notice it. Okay. First card is Let Go of Control Issues. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And so it is. It's very important to let go. Some of you are dealing with a past life relationship. You have known this person. Uh, you have known each other before. Forgiving and learning. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. And that's true. And so it is. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags, gems. The signs are cautioning you. You'll know what this message means for you. And so it is. Good luck for those of you that chose pack number two. For those of you that chose Ask Angel pack number three with Obsidian. First one is perfect timing. Everything is in divine timing, of course. Perfect timing. They're saying in the near future in the near future and opportunity look at the money coming in all the opportunities are coming in for you embrace it gems because you deserve it so this is your card and good luck for those of you that chose uh deck number three for those of you that chose lover's oracle with the rose quartz look at the card this is for you Maybe there's something that means something in this card for you. It says, this is your message, okay? I'll read it for you. It's, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Beautiful, right? Again, I know you want to hear it again. Let there, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. And so it is. Your next card you got... Look at it. Maybe it'll mean something for you. And the card is healing. It says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And so it is. Last but not least, 
Look at the card. And this is your message. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. And so it is. Well, gems, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for all your love and support. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell. Okay, and I'll see you next week. Bye.